Hi, everybody, and welcome. Tonight, we're going to play a game that's called 18 Words You've Never Heard Of, and we're going to test your lexiconology. Uh, so, yeah, I'm Ida Blevins, and I'm a wordsmith. Uh, I'm, I'm Calvin Clark, and you can call me Jacob Jingleheimer Smith. Oh, my word. <laughs> I don't know about those. <laughs> we, we might have to brush those up a little bit, but okay. I got I'm it. Jacob Jingleheimer Smith. You sing that song, didn't you? Yeah. Okay. My name is your name too, or something like yeah, that. Yeah, that's it. That's know. it. Yeah. So, eighteen words. I promise you, you've never heard these words. Well, well, maybe, maybe you've heard a word or two. Maybe like the really bright ones among us. But we are with Doctor Blevins, the uh, <laughs> the word Blevins. smithologist. Oh yes, I'm a word um, smithologist. And uh, mm. and I uh, say hello. I say hello. Come on, come on out. Come on, come on. Tonight, <laughs> and it's you against me. That's I, right. The, that's what we're going to do. We're going to play everyone against Ida. <laughs> All okay. of us. And, and we'll explain the rules of the game. But um, uh, but it's, it's, it's basically we're going to look at words and we're going to decide which is the real definition, which, which are real words and which are fake words. Um, so it'll be a fun time. All right. So you keep saying that. I hope but, it is. But the idea is basically to stump Dr. Blevins. Yes. And to uh, to see if we can figure out how to. Uh, how it's to not going to be hard to stump me. Let's let's give it a whirl. Sila came for her little treat, so I gave it to her. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so let's move let's move into the show here. So, eighteen words you've never heard. So okay. here's what's going to happen. We need somebody to volunteer to go first. And what you're going to do is you're going to you're going to. Uh, we're going to give you the definition, and here's the first one. Which word does not go in the blank? So we're asking you to say which one of these three words does not go in the blank. Only one of them does, but you're going to, so you have a, you have a two and three ch chance to, uh, to get it right. But we want you to narrow it down so Ida has to pick between two. All right, so if a bird or anything else blanks, then it flies away. If a bird or anything else blanks, then it flies away. So we need somebody to volunteer. Okay. Is is the word ovulate? Is the word allitrate? <laughs> or is the word biciate? This is a little frightening if you can't even pronounce someone I'm supposed to know. Okay. Bassiate. Somebody out Bassiate. there is gonna know so, which one uh, of these. So I does just need not somebody to eliminate. Blank. Somebody say we'll play I'll play and give me a word. Mm -hmm. One of those words. Avolate. Allitrate or bassiate. Hmm. All right. And if a bird or anything else does this, then it flies away. But okay. you're picking the one that's not that's not a correct answer, the one that you're sure. Maybe you know one of these words and you know that it means uh, dirty underwear. And so you <laughs> so you say, Oh, bassiate, that's dirty dirty underwear. Uh -huh. So I'm gonna pick that one because I know that's not if a bird flies away. All right, so so okay. somebody jump in. Yeah. So far, Kathy said her screen froze, so I don't know. Okay, so well, we'll we'll uh, we'll hang in there for you, and uh, um, would somebody please volunteer to jump in? Hmm. Uh, I'm not froze. Everything's working on our end, I believe. Yep, it's, it's working. Yep. So, uh, is Kathy the only person here? No, we've got Al and okay. Anna Marie and Maria. Uh, and some, somebody, somebody, jump people. in. Will you give us a, give us an answer that is does not Kristen's go in the blank? Here. Okay, Hi, Kristen. one of the answers that does not go in the blank, please. And uh, and the way it works then is, uh, <laughs> if you're wrong, if, uh, if you have it wrong, then uh, then Ida gets a point. Well, Al typed. It, it hasn't come up yet, yep. but uh, Al says Al doesn't know. <laughs> No, no, Al, you got you got you got to pick a word. <laughs> somebody's got somebody's got to try. Anna one. Marie says she'll play. Okay. And she says the so word Anna is basi is not is not is not basiate. Uh, as soon as it comes up on the screen, I'll yeah. put it up. So so Anna Al Marie, says basiate. Okay, so Anna Marie says that basiate is not the word. Okay. All right, which which um, uh, which brings it down to you, uh, Ida. The, so now um, I have to pick the one so, that is. So, so you're going to pick the one that I can tell you that basiate is not the word. Oh, okay. So you do not get a point yet. To get the point, mm -hmm. you have to pick which one it is. Well, I am pretty certain. You know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but you I'm, you know, you're testing my doctoral knowledge of the lexicon of the. <laughs> so I'm going to say abvalite. 
you're going to go with abvolate, and that yeah. is the word? Is that what That's you're saying? That's the word, abvolate, so, definitely. So if a bird or anything else abvolates, then it flies away. That's, right. that's your answer. Yes, okay. like an abduct. I'm thinking ab. I'm thinking about the prefix. Really? Yeah, that's what I'm going with. Wow. Well, you're right. It's abvolate, <laughs> so you get a point. So Ida gets a point. We didn't mm. get the stumper that time. We, we tried, did not. But, uh, mm. but, but at least we didn't give her a point by getting it wrong ourselves. All right. <laughs> okay. So uh, so one point for Ida, nothing for the rest of us. Oh, okay? so I hope they're of... all like something okay. I can figure out. So you all, uh, so so who just did that one? Who went first? Uh, Anna Marie. Anna Marie went so, first. So Al, it looked like you were ready to play. So Al, jump in, uh, jump Al in on this Al and Chris, and they one. all said base eight. So, uh, okay. whoever, whoever gets in first, that's who we'll go with. Uh, so you're picking the word do, that does not go in the bl in this blank. Which word does not go in the blank? Two of them don't, so you have a pretty good chance. To blank is to laugh loudly or unrestrainedly. No, to blank no. is to laugh loudly or unrestrainedly. Is it advers advesperate? Hmm. Is it cachinate? Is it manticulate? Which Hmm. Is uh, to laugh loudly or unrestrainedly? You think you know, Doctor? I, I think I think I know. I need I need did something you, a stethoscope. Did you study words, or how did you know? How do you know these words? Well, you know, I I have I'm not going to say because when I get them all wrong, you. But uh, it, I've worked in the medical profession for many years, and you're so, able to. So I I you know, and I did medical transcription. So what was so that last one? You you picked the word what? You, you picked the an. Ab ab. Ab, yeah. which means not. Ab, yeah, to go away. Ab. Oh, huh. yeah. Like abduct. That's how, that's how, that's how, um, I had my son, uh, I really encouraged my son to take uh, Latin and uh, manticulate. So Al is saying that we're going to get rid of manticulate, all right? And Al, that's correct. It's uh, it, manticulate is not the right oh, is not the right says word. Adesperate. So so no 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 just one person. Okay. So so, so Al's already that. taken away manticulate. Mm -hmm. So now you have to take away advesperate or catch. So I'm taking passion. away or I'm guessing the right word. Yeah, you, know, you can you you can guess the right word. You can I'll guess the right word. I know the right point. word. The right word is cacinate. Cacinate. Yes. Why do you know that? <laughs> I just, well, caca Well, it's just uh -huh. part of a medical word. Okay. Cacinate. I'm going with cacinate. Yeah. C what is it? Cacinate. Cacinate. <laughs> Here you go. It's cacinate. That's right. Two I'm points so for excited. you. Two points. We can't stump you. Oh. Hmm. We've been trying to stump you. No. No. Advesperate is when the when the day advesperates, it gets dark. Oh, I didn't know that. And one. Uh, uh, and. Uh, manticulate is to manticulate is to do something stealthy or to take something from someone while they're not looking. Oh, to so laughing loudly, yeah, but, but laughing loudly is cackling. Mm -hmm. Let me go back one uh, back here to the uh, to the last question because I forgot to give the other definitions. Oh, okay. Uh, Allotrate. These are all words. That's the point. Allotrates. Dogs, if it, see, if you don't have to use simple words when you can use a really complex word. That's right. That's. Dogs actually don't bark. That's what doctors do, you know. <laughs> Dogs don't bark. They allotrate. Oh. So you can so so next time you hear a dog allotrating, you can <laughs> you can see you can see. I and, hear your dog allotrating a lot. And basiate is uh, is the kiss. Oh. Well, that's kind of sweet. Yeah, not to fly away. They could kiss that's and then fly away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've never seen a bird. Okay, okay. next okay. Uh, next next question. We have six of them, so here's the yeah. third one. All right, so, got two. so we've had uh, Anna Marie play, Al play, mm -hmm. and it looked like Maria wanted yeah, to Maria jump in. So Maria, in. see if you can jump in on this one. Okay, so which word does not go in the blank? Okay, to blank is to speak like a baby. Uh oh. Okay, is it semitate? Semitate. Okay. Is it transnate? Or is it lalate? Okay. Semitate, Dr. Blevins. <laughs> Transnate, Dr. Blevins. Lally. Now, those those all look like semi looks to me like a partial, right? Mm -hmm. Trans looks like a conversion. Mm -hmm. Lal, I don't know what that means. Lallate. Like a lullaby. So, <laughs> a lullaby. Okay. <laughs> 
I think you spell that differently than Lalava. <laughs> but all right, yep. If you want to go that way. Um, so which one know. does I'm not belong? Which, which one does not belong? Somebody can give us an give us an answer. It doesn't have to be Maria. I just was saying that uh, if her answer comes in, we will pick hers. So to to what Stoic. is to speak like a baby? What's that mean to speak like a baby? Don't speak. Yes, they do. What do you do? How do you speak like a baby? Last week I spoke <laughs> like a grandmother. <laughs> like no, old, old, old lady. Yeah. And now babies. Well, you know. let's hear you speak like a baby. Come on, let's do the extremes, week to week. It's a good. It's a. Good, and you're somewhere in between, so it's perfect. What's a, what do you what do you imagine speaking like a baby? I don't even know what it would mean to speak like a baby. You know, like a little ones, they speak like Missy truck. Oh, is that how a baby? Me want candy. Because I th when I think of a baby, they just scream. La la. <laughs> Al says semitate. <laughs> okay. So Al is going to eliminate semitate unless mm -hmm. Maria comes up. We'll give her just a couple seconds, but. Uh, um, Maria's maybe behind. We we do have we, we've noticed sometimes lag. people are forty five seconds yeah. behind us. Some people are fifteen seconds behind. So and Maria is up in Canada where the hurricane blew everything over oh. up there. They they had some oh. serious um, power outages and whatever. Up so there. it so could be everybody... that she sent the word and it's like blowing in the wind. We're it's just right. waiting it's just for it. To, to... <laughs> okay. All right. Know. So we're eliminating uh, semitate. Let okay. me see if semitate. Um, no, it turns out semitate is uh, isn't is correct. It's a it's a wrong word. So you have the, from the <laughs> other two, you have to choose between between transnate and lalate. Well, okay, Doctor Blevins. I definitely transnate. Transnate. Why yes. are you picking transnate? Like nate is natal, so nate oh, natal for baby. So I'm going to say transnate. Wow, <laughs> you're good at this. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, I'm not that good. At, see, I was I was gonna say lolly, but, but that's nothing that, to do with lullaby, lullaby. Well, you know, I don't know. It's it's, it's it's was a word that I was attracted to, so I don't know. So I, but I got it wrong. All right, Kathy, I saw you in there. Let's see if we can get you in the next one here, Kathy. So, uh, so now that's one point for us, two to one. We're catching up. You're not gonna catch me. Fourth question. Gonna... Oh, let me give you let me give you the words. Uh, semitate is um, derived from semita. Uh, which is um, which is for la I was Latin for say path. That. Mm. It's to make a path through something, to semitate through oh. something. That's how you. That's how. You, that's, that's how. You, when path. you're making a path, you go. You do this. You, you do this. Okay. Mm -hmm. it, it's uh, <laughs> it's it's hand divining. It's a, it, your body follows your hands. Like I see. That. <laughs> okay. Okay. That that wound up. And transnate. No, transnate is not. What does transnate to talk like mean? A baby. Transnate, instead of doing lengths in the pool, you transnate it. What? You swim across it. Well, that's baby talking in this sort of... <laughs> that's, that's not what it baby talking. <laughs> instead of doing the lengths, you do the widths. Okay. That's transnate. <laughs> so transnate is a width to go across. All right, good. All one. right. Um, all right, so let's, let's uh, oh, see if no. we can catch up now. <laughs> Which word does not go in the blank? We need somebody to fill this in. To blank someone is to fail to un to to recognize mm -hmm. them to fail to recognize them i see the first word is unken i guess <laughs> unken 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 can't tell you who he is <laughs> I <can't get> it. <laughs> okay next okay. one here's my favorite word in the whole 18 oh. surfle surfle yeah to surfle Surfles. someone is to fail to recognize them. Hmm. Or to caperate. I see. Caperate. Well. All right, so we need somebody to eliminate one of those so that we can... Uh, so Now, we see, if we miss this part, you get the point auto, so you know, immediately. I, mm. So we have to get it right. And we have, so far, we've been right three times in a row. So so we, we right meaning we're, we're picking a word that does not fit in the blank. Mm -hmm. So... So we you're correctly to, choosing the wrong word. Ah. Uh, right? That's, yeah. <laughs> wrong. Right. Correct. Okay. We got it. That's it. <laughs> Kathy's freezing, so she's trying to get in, but she can't. Mm. So somebody else might have to step in for her. So could somebody eliminate a word for us? To something someone is to fail to recognize them. If you think it's a particular word, then pick one of the other ones. Yeah. You have, two, you have three choices. Two of them are wrong. So you have a pretty good chance. <laughs> 
Kathy's deferring to someone else who can get in and yep. not freeze Kathy's up. Kathy's so. trying to get in, so we'll ho hopefully uh, somebody will get in. We'll take we'll take those of you who have already participated too. Come on back around. We're, this is question four, uh, isn't it? I or is this question <laughs> three? Now I've lost track of where we are even in the game. One, two. No, we've done three. We're on four. No, we've done two. No, we've done three. <laughs> we're on four. Yep. We're yes. On four. Okay. And the score is two to one. So this is our big opportunity to catch Anna Marie's up. Anna Marie's saying circle. To What's circle that? someone. She's, circle Anna is Marie the is wrong eliminating word. Eliminating circle. Yes. And you are wise to eliminate that one, Anna Marie, mm -hmm. because that is not the right word. It's either unken or caparate, uh, Dr. Blevins. Which do you think it is? Unken? I don't even. <laughs> un, unken. Un, un, unken. Un, well, un, unken. Yeah. Means you not. forgot. It does? Uh, well, I'm thinking. I'm trying to put a word together that makes some <laughs> sense to me. Unk. What's unk mean? <laughs> unk like in your it's uncle. Unkin. Unkin. It's unk. It's to unk. To un <laughs> means kin. Well, it's can. Caparate kin. means to uh, to put a lid on. Caparate. To. I'm going to go with. Uh, it's terrible because. Well, let's see. I'm going to go with caparate. You're going to go with caparate? Caparate. Why are you going to go with caparate? Because in in my wisdom, my years of wisdom, I've learned to always choose B. And since... And since you have two answers, that's the second that's one. That's the second Okay, bad choice. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, see, I said... Okay, tell me what, to, does, what unken, does unken mean? To unken is to fail to recognize okay. someone. But, but what does but caparate? caparate is to frown. If something's oh. caparated, it's wrinkled or creased. Oh. To caparate. Well, if you don't know someone's name, you frown. Yes, you do, but that's that's not that wasn't the question. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay. And uh, uh, and, uh, and surfal. Everybody wants to know what surfal is. Yes. Right? What is surfal? Uh, surfal is an ornate trim or embroidered broider, but according to the Oxford Dictionary, as a verb, it can also be used to mean to paint or wash the face or body with a cosmetic. To surfle. Oh my word. Where did you find these surfle. words? <laughs> surfle. Your, you, need, you need to exfoliate and then you need to surfle. <laughs> I beg your pardon. <laughs> That's a good one. I'm telling you. These, these you words, just go right on and exfoliate and surfle Don't use those simple words. Don't use decorate when you can use surfle. That's right. Don't use runny nose when you can say rhinorrhea. <laughs> Dr. Blevins. That's you right. You know some words. I do I'm know you. some words. All right. It's tied up two to two. Oh, no. There's only two questions left. Let's see where we go. They get they get easier. Uh-huh. Which word does not go in the blanks? We need somebody. In the morning when you stretch and yawn. Everybody does this, right? That's I even right. noticed Sayla does this in the morning. Mm -hmm. She stretches out. Oh, oh, when you're doing that, are you genticulating? Oh, or are you pandiculating? <laughs> oh, or are you lapfactating? <laughs> Which one? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> are you genticulating, I... pandiculating, or labifactating? <laughs> I... <laughs> you can't even say labifactating. I don't think it's the right word. All right, we need somebody for who's listening to eliminate Al Kunzel is saying one of those words. Pendiculate. He says get rid of pendiculate because it, that is not stretching. Right. Unfortunately, he's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> That's Aww. a point. So I went on for Doctor Blevins. Yep. Oh, if we thank make you, a mistake, Al. if we make a mistake. Uh, you win. <laughs> to pandiculate is the proper name. You shouldn't say stretch, stretch. in the morning. No, Everyone, from now on, please do not means say entire. Please do not say. So you oh, I'm yawning and stretching. <laughs> you say no. I'm pandiculating. <laughs> please, please stop the, please stop this uh, simple word usage. But we want to know what these other words are, right? Yes. Uh, genticulate. Sure I have that up there, but because it just stopped at this. Oh, so, thank uh, you. Genticulate means, and this is another good one. Don't use, don't don't use Thanks, the word. Yeah. I'm gonna eat my breakfast. Use the word. I'm gonna genticulate. Genticulate. Yeah, eat your breakfast, and you'll have genticulated. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, labifactate. 
is derived from a Latin word meaning to weaken or to make unsteady. So to labefact uh, tate something is to knock it over or to cause it to fall. That's what I was going to say. So, yeah. yeah. So lots of times you, you <laughs> bump into something and you labefactate it. I would never lab a fact date anything on <laughs> not purpose. on purpose, of course. No, not. but I do notice that sometimes you do lab a fa- lab a fact date things. <laughs> sometimes I do. <laughs> All right, this is it. Either Ida just makes a clear win, which, which uh, four to two, uh-huh. or we could tie it up. <gasps> okay. And if we tie it up, well, we're just going to call it a tie. Hmm. But um, uh, to blank is to bruise something, or to knock or hit it hard in other words if if you lab a fact tape something <laughs> you could yes if you lab a fact the thing you that, could that do you lab a fact tape could bounce back and and it could this you it could lucubrate or <laughs> obligure or tediculate yeah. me that's right it yeah could, and that would be that would, would be, be horrible I, yeah you don't want that to happen those things you don't want to happen so to blank is to bruise something or knock or hit it hard so we want you who are listening right now to pick one and say nope, it's hmm. not that one for sure. But get this right, because yeah. if we if if we hit the word, then we then we give the point to Ida. What do we're, I win? By the way, get, oh, do I win? Wait a, till you a see. A very fabulous wait, prize. Wait, wait till you okay. see. Okay. You know it we won't have just, it won't we, just be a uniquely the same pen. Oh, we do have one audience participant who always wants when I lose for you to slap a pie in my face. Yep. Well, we talked about he keeps that. keeps voting for it. Maybe we'll do that on the one year anniversary. <laughs> Which is like next week. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, Al's, so, Al's so saying. So lucubrate. Lucubrate is what Al's saying. Ob, oblig, uh, obligure or obligure <laughs> or tediculate. Mm-hmm. And, and Al knows that it is absolutely not uh, <laughs> lucubrate. <laughs> lucubrate. That's right, <laughs> Al. Lucubrate. Luke, you break. And that's right. It isn't that. It isn't that. It that's, isn't Luke, you break. because it's, I know, it's because it's obligure. You're sure it's obligure? It's obligure, yeah. This is for this is for the prize. It's, so you're very, Dr. Blevins, you like, you're absolutely sure. Yes, obligure. Okay. Uh, uh-oh. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> Whenever you get that look on your face, I know I'm wrong, but I'm obligure. Yes, I'm positive. It's right. I'm sorry to say... <laughs> It's tediculate. We've just tied you up. Oh, well. Tediculate. Tediculate. Yep. Tediculate just... is to bruise something or to knock it or hit it hard. Hmm. So sorry about that. You said uh, obligure. Yes. Which, that's to feast or to eat a great meal, <laughs> to obligure. I must be hungry while I'm playing this game. <laughs> okay. And then, and then Al knew, of course... Uh, that it wasn't lucky He mm-hmm. knew he knew what that meant. He meant that he knew that that meant to work by candlelight <laughs> or artificial light. Yeah. Or it could also mean to work really hard, like working into the night. Mm-hmm. So, uh, lucubrate. Yeah. Well, uh, I was gonna say tediculate. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> Even so, though I firmly said um, obligure. So I'm sorry. We're gonna have to save the save the prize for another game. Aww. We tied you. Okay. That's a little dissatisfying. It is because you know, maybe, I thought, wait maybe a minute, we'll are you to, sure you tied You know, there's an after show on Facebook. Uh-huh. And and so maybe after, on the after show, we'll try to come up with some way to uh, to, to break the tie. But, okay. Um, but we've got to move on with the it. show. We yes. can't do any more. We should have picked an odd number. Then somebody would have won. That, yeah. But now this way, you like it this way. I do. Everyone I, gets I a participation like a, prize. I like when everybody Congratulations. wins. Congratulations. Yes, good everybody job, wins. everybody. <laughs> That was fun. Did did you know any of those words? I didn't know a single word out of those eighteen. But now maybe you could use one of them tomorrow, yes, or, I, or I plan on even tonight. Articulating something. Yeah, and and seriously, when when you uh, lucubrate tonight, yes, you know maybe you could use one of these words while you're up late. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's move on. Uh, Idy, you've got a saying of the week for us. I do. And we sure would love it if you would uh, if you would jump into that saying. Yeah, this one is a, a saying actually by the Dalai Lama. And I, I was drawn to this one because today is uh, September 11th. And um, I just found it meaningful. There are only two days in the year that nothing can be done. 
One is called yesterday and the other is called tomorrow. So today is the right day to love, believe, do, and mostly live. So we just need to take grasp of today and make the most of the day every day. So you never know what tomorrow may bring. Huh, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. And actually, you know, the Bible has that in it too. <laughs> You know, to pay attention to what you're, what's right in front of you today because exactly. you never know what might happen tomorrow. So that's interesting. And uh, I would never think that an animal like a llama would be able to say, come oh, up with such word. a saying. <laughs> that's a very wise thing to say. Yes, and it's not only a llama, but the, a Dalai Llama. Yeah, just a pretend one, I guess. Oh, no. I th that's probably disrespectful. It that's is disrespectful. disrespectful to anyone. And so we, we want to that. just give credit to these beautiful <laughs> sayings from the Dalai Lama. Thank you. <laughs> All right, let's continue to move on mm -hmm. with the show. We've got the joke of the week. Uh, Don Slavin Greenwald yeah. is going to give us the joke of the week. Uh, guess what? I didn't put the words in her mouth this week. You did not. No, no mm -hmm. one of our listeners did. That's right. So um, so these. this is Don uh, Slavin Greenwald, but these are not necessarily her words. But but we think of it as her words. Yes. We, well, put, okay. we love that you put your your picture on Facebook or anywhere out on the Internet. We're going to grab it's it. It's fair game. The show, put words in your mouth. <laughs> it's just what we do. Mm. <laughs> Someday we're going to end up in court over this. <coughs> I hope by we you mean you. <laughs> <laughs> and Don wants to know, what do you call a bear with no teeth? What do you I call a have, bear with no teeth? I have no idea what you call a bear mm. with no teeth. I mm. think you need to put yourself up there. What do you, oh, that's, that's true. I got the wrong picture, don't I? Here we go. There you Thank are. You. Okay. What do you call a bear with no teeth, Don? We would like to know the, we burning minds. We would like to know the answer. That's right. I want to know. The answer is... Oh, no. A gummy bear. Oh, no. <laughs> that get a lot. I can't even say... <laughs> I am so sorry, John. You know I love you, John. And and if I would have known he was putting those words in your mouth, I I, I would have no tried words. to stop. Th those are, we're we're attributing that to Don. That's a good joke, Don. Uh, it, okay. We we think. Well, we love you, Don. So yeah, thank you for sharing. Start. Thank you for participating. <laughs> We got to uh, come up with a better one. Guess what? Uh, the YouTube live <laughs> broadcast is about to end. Uh, but wait, there's more over on uh, Facebook. Back on Facebook, So yeah. you could, if you're watching us on uh, YouTube, you can, uh, and you're watching live, you can jump over to Facebook and see us there. We're, we're over there. But for you, we're going to say goodbye, and we're going to let you know that you could look at the videos that are recommended over there or down below in the uh, write-up, right mm -hmm. below the video. So uh, thanks for coming by. Uh, I'm uniquely the same. You're uniquely the same. Together, we can change the world. We'll see you next week. See you next week.